ever present. <laughs> the uh, console. Those are our eight that we have. Take your position. The qualifying top. But of course, uh, everything goes back to zero. And they get mixed up randomly into those shooting positions and they will get ready for this marathon and it really is a marathon as well if uh, truth be told so we are more or less ready the uh, athletes just preparing we'll have five minutes it's up on the uh, clocks uh, around this uh, arena of preparation time and then of course the uh, kneeling the prone and then the standing it is a marathon that becomes a sprint towards the end as we see who can outlast everybody else and become world champion just the one final today so all our focus is on this one there's a good crowd down uh, Believe me, uh, looking forward to seeing what's going to happen here. And I am uh, looking forward to seeing what's going to happen as well. Five minutes, as I say, on the clock for sighting and preparation. They can use that for their kneeling position. We will, we will talk about uh, the changeovers. Remember, there is a seven-minute change between kneeling and prone, and then a nine minute between prone and standing. Uh, more between prone and standing, there's, there's more moving parts, basically. That's the, uh, the stats, the figures. We'll go through some of these, don't you worry. We are uh, hopefully gonna get a lot of information through to you. Should be an exciting what, 40, 45 minutes? Heading towards an hour? Depends how we go. The Secretary General is in the house. What ties he got on today? It's a yellow one. A very snazzy, kind of purple one yesterday. Our sighting times have started, have started already. Just a chance for these athletes after qualification to get used to the uh, atmospherics here and the lighting. Lights are up now after our uh, introduction to these athletes. It would be quite difficult, wouldn't it, to uh, go through a competition with the lights down and uh, the spotlights flailing around. Lee Unso is uh, on uh, position A, world ranked 77th. But with a chance, especially after she uh, qualified first, one point the difference between her and Zhang. Natalia Kuchanska, who uh, snuck through in eighth place on the count back. There were three others on five, eight, seven. The 27 year old. Well, whatever happens, 59th in Cairo is a big upgrade, isn't it? Got a couple of World Cup bronzes. From this event, also for Sandra of India as well. And then all of the other athletes. Jenny Steen of uh, Norway. The 25 year old, fourth ranked uh, in the world. So the other two quotas have actually gone to athletes. It's been Berwick Knutson, experienced coach, of course. Say in Madalena from the United States, our oldest athlete at 30 years of age, and I did say there were a couple of 29 were the oldest, but I missed uh, Madalena. A World Cup final goal for her. Best in the World Cup is bronze. She's got team silver as well. And in Cairo, individually, she was uh, fourth, so near to the podium, but not quite. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. We haven't met, so I couldn't check. Uh, Mongolia, Germany, India, and the People's Republic of China securing Paris 2024 Olympic quota places from this event. Now, in case you're wondering how this event works, well, let me tell you, it might take two days, but I'll do my best. So, still waiting to introduce the other athletes. Noisy round here. The athletes have to 
block that out. Position. And these and, uh, will be fired in a time of we only have around two minutes left for these athletes to get these we'll sighting shots away. Over. Starting, of course, even in the kneeling position, anyway, while the athletes prepare looking for at the that uh, three of five target, that little black dot 50 metres away, 10.9, the maximum is less than a millimetre. So it really is. And yeah, I'm just looking, it was uh, Madalena just hit the 10.9 as she's uh, preparing. Here is uh, Madalena with the, uh, the short hair. We then stay in the standing position with uh, Peter Durban. Shots, unless a shoot off is required. And after each single shot in the seat, the United States, of course, so strong in shotgun. Like they have their moments in rifle and pistol. Zhang Xiongzhi. Gold in the three positions winning the competition in Bhopal, of course, and a world team bonds in Cairo at the World Championships last year, so already a world championship to her name. Yao Yi is uh, watching on from the big posh seats down at the front here. Uh, here is Nina Christen of uh, Switzerland, world rank number two with a real chance here, of course. You may remember as the gold medalist in Tokyo and uh, a World Cup gold in Cairo this year. And Xiao Yu, if you've been watching all week, you will recognize her. Won the 10 meter gold, already a world champion here. Can she be a double world champion? Also won the World Cup gold in Baku this year. And those are only medals, believe it or not. The youngster really making a splash. Oh. Sift Samra of uh, India, 33rd in Cairo last year, did get that World Cup bronze we mentioned uh, in Bhopal this year. So absolutely in with a chance and uh, their very experienced coach will also know that. Those are the athletes. A reminder of how it works. We have th three series of five targets, 200 seconds for each series. And then uh, three series of five oh, targets, 150 seconds to get those away. And then standing, we have two series of five targets. Uh, seven and eight are eliminated. And then oh. single series with an athlete going after each one until we get to gold and silver. So there you go. That's how it's looking. We start now. The clock ticking down already. Let's see who can uh, start well. You do need to be able to start well because... You know, someone may come at you in one of the other disciplines. You want to make sure you've got a good score already behind you. Of course, the uh, prone position is where you get the higher scores, more stability there. This isn't bad, though. Gravity, uh, unlike in the standing position, can wreak so much havoc. Zhang has started well. Han, a compatriot in the nine ring. Madalena, good as well. She's just behind Kohanska, who is, uh, well, here she has a, a 10 5, following up an uh, even better target. Christian, uh, Olympic champion at the bottom at the moment. Zhang a 10-7, Han a 10-8. The Chinese looking good now. Kohanska goes down, was top because of that uh, poor shot earlier, but 10-6. Uh, Obviously uh, back up in uh, contention. Everything moving around. Madalena is into uh, top position. This is Kohanska. Ooh, a 10 2 is a little bit below where she wanted to be. She's finished. It's not a bad start from the Polish athlete. Christian back into the high 10s with a 10.6. Oh, Han with a 
Well, the 10 meter champion. Excellent. Almost done. Madalena will be our last one. And that'll see her into equal third place. So these uh, targets go quite quickly once we get underway. And that's how it looks with Han and uh, Zhang, the two Chinese athletes just ahead of uh, Poland's Kohanska and Madele uh, Madalena from the United States. Steen at the bottom, but uh, there's still uh, a bit of leeway there. They're not too far behind. Point three, Steen, then Samra, just a, a new, another few points behind. Keep an eye on Sift Samra. Starts the ten. Uh, sorry, a nine seven. Better by Zhang. Steen needs to shoot well and has a ten point nine from her. Uh, that's already put her up a place. She just needs to keep the consistency. Can't get better than that, but uh, somewhere nearby. And without firing another shot, she's going up the leaderboard as others fall by the wayside, like a Hanska, a 9.7. 10 1, the follow up from Kristen, not a disaster. This is Madalena. Waits till she's absolutely ready. You can see. The shoulder strap helping to keep that uh, front arm steady and taut. 10.2, not bad. But you do want to get as much as you can in the bank as soon as you can for these athletes who have been around the world and have got the uh, cap pins to prove it. Hannah, 10.5. Samra, 10.6. And finishing off with a 10-7. She can relax. There or thereabouts. Excellent grouping. Not much outside. Not even the uh, outside parts of the target. Outside the tens. Nines for Lee. Steen. Who's back down into bottom place. Christian. Another 10-9. Well, that is excellent from the Swiss athlete. Well, that's what it was looking like after the first five targets. It, there's been a bit of movement in the midfield, not though at the top. Han half a point ahead of Zhang, the two Chinese, quite a nice distance ahead of the rest. The first of the rest being Madalena of the United States. We move on now to our final series. Staying with an uh, average of 10, but we'd want it to be a bit higher than that. For the next competition series, love. Yes. Ah. Yes. Away we go again. Here's Han. He has been looking very, very cool, calm and collected. It takes a time, 10-3. That'll be absolutely fine. Madalena cuts the gap with a 10-7. Zhang, second at the moment, 0.6 behind Madalena now. That uh, by her standards, fairly low 10. Some holding the
keeping them unzipped and keeping them on. It's just a personal preference. In a third position, 10 a lot of... Uh, Barrel, this, that all stays the same. The, 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 those plastic boxes, the uh, screwdrivers, the Allen keys, everything like that. Sights as well. A change going on the stock. Just a little, a little bit longer. The uh, sights will now all change. Completely different position, so you're a lot lower, a lot closer. Rifle, so that's why the, the sights have to change. Down, top, hand dropping down. Kohanska in a spot of bother at the bottom, but there's still time. There is still time. Christian, our uh, Olympic. Per series. And if you've just joined us, a reminder um, that after well, those seven minutes. Action then still just under four minutes of uh, change over time and most of these athletes are down have changed as you can see only one athlete actually uh, that's Zhang who is taking those no hang on a second I think Han and Sam have as well you can see the, the trousers very tidily folded up by our officials and put on top of the boxes I always like that I always think that's very polite and some of uh, these athletes will take a bit more time than others. Li Yun Su, making sure everything is right before you get into position and start to get some targets away. Make sure that their uh, targets are and their sights are right. Not telescopic, of course, just optical. Less than three minutes now, then, before we get underway in uh, the prone position. And we might get a bit more of a shake out as to who is ready to take on the world and beat them all. These jackets are fascinating. You see, made out of really stiff canvas, zip up the back on the legs. So you can actually get a little bit of, you can walk properly even when they're on. Because once they are all zipped up, you do walk a bit like a, an oversized penguin, really. But that's not the point. The point is to stop that swaying, particularly when you're standing. Because uh, you, are, you are more prone, naturally, to sway. And it's not exactly what you want to do as an athlete. You want to keep as still as possible. You can lean back into that jacket. We'll see that, of course, in the standing part of this competition. This is uh, Kohanska. Has uh, been struggling. Some up on the 10-5, not bad, but you do not want to be down in the low nines. You are going to get punished, especially 
when it's not from the standing position. It's a bit more variable from the standing position, but uh, certainly not from uh, this position. And you want to be hitting high tens. This is the chance to do good work. 10.8, the last one in competition from Jenny Steen, the Norwegian. Does Remember, want to after this, in the standing, nine if minutes between prone and standing, we will talk you through all the changes there. And it is fascinating, we do go from this kind of long marathon of target shooting to a real sprint towards the end. Jang with a 110.9. Christian with uh, a couple okay, in her uh, pocket already. I also have a prize for second place. 30 seconds already. The time is ticking down. A couple of 10.9 to mention that, but Christian, she's been in great form. In uh, fourth place, though, still a bit of work to do. She's 0 0.1 behind Han and 0.3 behind Madalena. A bit of clear air between, clear water between Zhang and the rest. And looking to be a double world champion here. Oh. Won that 10 metre gold, of course, earlier this week. I'm losing my well, day, is it? It's Monday. Day five of finals. We've got another couple after this. 25 metre rapid fire pistol for men. That's tomorrow. Well, for five, uh, sorry, 3.15. And then at five, uh, on Thursday, we start the trap competition with the women. Stop. Quarter past six, the men. And then we're all done and dusted for our Olympic finals. Where we go then, in the prone position. Should be getting some decent scores here. Certainly, if you go into the nine ring, you're going to get punished. Lee, next to her, Kohanska. The Swiss watching on, seeing what uh, Nina Christian can do. Nine nine, Steam would not want to be there. Back into the ten ring. Ten eight from Lee Unsu, nearest to us on the camera. Another decent one. Ten five from her. Han comes into the high scoring zone as well with a ten point eight. But Madalena of the United States is uh, at the top for the first time. Good grouping from her. Steen. Looking to get some consistency, the 10-1, just nibbling the 10 ring. This is Madalena. Next to her, Zhang of China. 10-8-10. Oh, a 9-4. Oh, and that's going to hurt a little bit. Han able to leapfrog a compatriot with a, a solid 10.5. Samra finishes with a 10.6. Lee with a 10.8. Steen back into the nine ring. Madalena is in good form. Oh, commentator's curse down into the nines, but stays top. As we wait for the Norwegian to finish us off in this first Stop. series in the prone position. 10-5, not bad. Well, it's there tight at the top between the first two, Madalena and Han, but uh, Zhang has had a bit of a nightmare well, by her high standards of 50.2. Well, not what you want when you're in the prone position. Christian with a 51.3 sees her vault over several. Hanska now below Samra at the bottom. Steen a long way away from Lee Eun So. We move on now to Series 2. Series 2 then. Of the prone. Series. series two of three, Go. 150 seconds, two and a half minutes. Stop. This is the leader, Madalena of the United States. No. 
30 years of age and five days. Happy birthday. She would have been here for it. Big number as well, isn't it? Big number to get to. Hope she had a good one. I hope she's got a good party organized when she gets back home. I tell you what, she would forget all that if she could be top of the podium. That's her focus at the moment, but Hannah's gone ahead of her at 10-7 after that 10 from uh, Madalena, but she has one in, in hand. Keep an eye on Zhang, who just lost to Mojo a little bit in that first prone series. Good from Zhang, 10-7 from her. Kristen, 9-8, followed by the 10-3. That's better. But she's certainly not uh, pulling up. Yeah, flowers at the moment, is she? Lee, quietly going about her business as well, into fourth place. has finished down in bottom place that 9-1 will have hurt her chances for sure Lee a 10 finishing off for her Stop. Hannah's looked good but uh, Madalena has looked better and uh, well that was nip and tuck, wasn't it? It was 0.1 better over those five targets for Han Jayu. Madalena, though, and her are, uh, as a result, joint first. And Zhang is a long way behind. So it is kind of uh, just spreading out. Look at the gap at the bottom. Almost eight points between top and bottom. Last series then in the prone, then that nine minute interregnum before we go into that almost like vortex of uh, standing where it gets quicker and quicker. And starts Madalena not quite so well. Lian Shang trading places. This is the American. It's be interesting to see who has the uh, skill and the mental ability when it comes to the standing because you never know. Someone might come through in those two series of five and targets are going to be a little bit more and scoring a bit more variable. Zhang, another solid 10.7. Nina Christian, the Olympic champion, not at the moment on the podium positions, but uh, there may be time yet. Just takes a couple of swings of momentum in the standing position. You never know what might happen. Christian, oh, down into the nines. Stein next to her, Kohanska. That's better from her. Still at the bottom, though, in a battle with uh, Samra. They've both finished. And Samra is quite comfortable at the moment. Either of those two getting out of uh, jail. At the moment, you never know. Han has uh, a six point. A point six, sorry, advantage over Madalena. And is finished with a ten six. Madalena with a ten seven. So a little bit bigger oh. now the swing. Oh. One point in fact. One point between first and second, second and third. So it's still uh, anyone's uh, World Championship gold, isn't it, really? But it has changed around a little bit. Zhang getting closer to second place. All right, then we've had 
one point between first and second, second and third. Quite big differences between everybody apart from Lee, not that far away from Nina Christian in fourth. So nine t minutes of uh, change over time. Oh, that's a, a well-loved mascot, isn't it? Han is now the frog belonging to Lee Yun Shou. As you can see, everything changing again. The sights changing. And, uh, well, they'll be looking forward to the uh, next part of the competition, the standing. But uh, they've had a lot to get through already, including the prone. Yeah, busy, hasn't it? Busy, busy, busy uh, during competition and also during the changeover times. And as you can see, some already at the shooting positions. Some are uh, also uh, still getting changed. Abdullah Ali Al Hamadi, our technical delegate, needs to uh, have his eyes on everything to make sure everything is running smoothly. And everything has been running smoothly, which is. Uh, Testament to the IWSF and the local organisers. So, good crowd in, isn't there, for the Swiss to cheer on Nina Christian. So the uh, jackets have gone on. Right, of course, the uh, idea is, to, like as I said, to stop. The unnecessary swaying your back, of course, asymmetrically leaning back is not your natural way to do it. But this uh, helps you, helps you uh, just minimise the uh, swing that you have. Now then, as you can see, the uh, sights have gone up a little bit because again, your head position has changed much higher after the prone position. Little clean of the blinder, get it in the right position again. That will be in a slightly different position. So everything has to be absolutely right, doesn't it, really, before uh, you get underway and have your sighting targets. And uh, you can see the position that they go into, that kind of uh, leaning back. The athletes have their feet planted very firmly. Some athletes with uh, measuring devices, as uh, Jenny Steen has. Not everybody, and the uh, shoes are very, very stiff. They are measured by a special machine that bends them, and if they don't bend enough, then uh, they're not allowed. Equipment control is certainly an important and time-consuming thing for uh, athletes, but it is important that it is fair for everybody. And they have the blinders, they have the caps, 
never have enough bags. Very good attitude. All right, okay, we're going to start with question one now, everybody. Here we go. Now, this might be quite awkward. So the, uh, here in the audience, um, so don't get it wrong. Starting Who with the uh, sighting the shots. World number one in this For all these athletes, uh, a lot of noise behind them, but they'll be looking just to blank all that out. Get as many targets away as you can. Lee, well, 51. Well, it's not great after a 53 and a 52 and a half in the other prone position. So she dropped down a wee little bit. Okay, Wataru, do you want to have a go? B. You're saying B, Jeanette Hector. You don't think it's doing anything. Okay, he's coming three minutes he now. With uh, Kohanska Point at the bottom, of course, at uh, 9.1, was it? Is no in stark contrast to a few better shots, but nothing to 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 shots, but nothing above 10.5. And if you want to succeed and be in the top three, that's really what you're going to be looking at. A, B, or C is a simple guess. You have to put your hand up. Thank you. Is the right answer as a by her high standards? Fire. Not really uh, where she wants to be. To in uh, sixth uh, place uh, at the uh, moment. What a moment, though. What an opportunity the for uh, Sagan Madalena as well. Okay, so she shot place. high. She had a little dip in that last uh, few series. Okay, 52-3, 52-4, then a 51-4 for the last five. So, uh, or C, do a averaging over 10, as you'd expect, might not be these athletes. It may be that uh, Madalena is one of those who oh, shoots well so until you get to standing. 15, we shall find B, out. But what an opportunity C, for the American. Zhang. Is the right answer, if I can count. Okay, it's a point for Yuria. Two points for Was Maduro. top go, for a while. Four. Is third the now. Still in with a chance. Is called a and Christian has been B. solid without Blot. being spectacular. Blot. And she is in fourth at the moment. Just over a minute to go then. There's a good example of the knuckle hold for that uh, rifle, made easier, of course, by the glove. And the 10-metre uh, champion, looking cool, calm and very, very, very on it at the moment. Samra has struggled all the way through, hasn't she? And her and Kohanska are in danger of going out first. Less than 20 seconds before we get down to business. Remember, two series of five targets and seventh and eighth go. This is how it looks at the moment after the prone. Han, Madalena and Zhang all in the zone. Christian, well, you never know. And Lee possibly as well, if they oh. can put some really good targets in. It's going to be a bit more variable. We're going to have to keep an eye on how this is moving around. For the next competition, there is load. Start. Here we go then. Two series of five targets. A little bit more time than we have in uh, the other two disciplines. It's just a little bit more difficult to steady yourself, get the targets away. And as you can see, Zhang straight away, 9-7 is not actually a disgrace. And we'll see if, like Steen, you can keep it in the 10 ring. You're going to be in with a chance. 10-5 from Christian. Closes right up to Zhang. 10 4 is good. Samra. Still with a bit of work to do to get out of the bottom two. Li Eun Su. She 
shoots a 10-7. It was worth the wait from her. Lee in fifth. And, well, Madalena with a nine point, uh, I think it was nine, wasn't it? And then a 10, so it's not not uh, ripping up uh, this final at the moment, Madalena, but uh, just looking to stay with Han, who all of a sudden is looking ominous, isn't she? The nine, nine. Oh, Christian with the eight, six. That's what I mean. One target can really give you a problem. And down into fifth place, she goes behind Lee. Ten seven from Samra. The Indians in the crowd like that one. Lee looking good as well. She's level now with Jenny Steen on three three seven. Both with a couple of targets to go. Samra. to follow up that 10-7 with a decent target. Han a 10-7. That's excellent. Madalena a 10-2. It's good, but it's, as I say, not setting the world alight. Christian into the nine ring again. Uh, not grouping at all. Zhang is, but she's skirting the 10 ring. Han has moved much more into the lead here at the moment. 2.1, the difference between her and Madalena. What can Samra do? Well, Samra is shooting excellently at the moment and she's gone from bottom to fifth. And that's what I mean about this uh, stage of the competition. And we are done. And we have had a bit of a move around. And perhaps not at the top, but certainly at the bottom. That is a real move from Samra, who was looking like she might get eliminated. But uh, it has a... Uh, all changed at the bottom. Kohanska 4.7 behind at the top. Han and Madalena, while well, that gap was one, it's now 1.7. And Zhang has just nibbled away at the lead that Madalena had over Zhang. So, second series of five targets, and seventh and eighth will go. And at the moment, it is Jenny Steen who is uh, in trouble here. Keep an eye on, well, Kahanska, I think, is gone. I think we can say that after three out of the uh, first five weren't great. Zhang, good. Kohanska in the 10 ring. Keep an eye on Steen. 10-4 is good, but Christian has a 10-5. So she still is in sixth place. It could all change again, of course, with one poor target. And a poor 9.7 by her standards. Madalena, a 10-2 will gain. Half a point as a result, Christian. 10.9 from Christian. Oh, she leaped up to fourth place as a result. Jenny Steen, a 10.7. Samra, a 9.7. So Steen is uh, just gaining a little bit. from uh, Zhang. Madalena at 10-1. Again, gaining on Han, who's not having the greatest of uh, series.
a little bit from, I was going to say, Madalena, but it's Zhang who's gone ahead at the moment. After that 10.7, here is Madalena. She has a couple of targets, needs to have those in the high tens, and she should reclaim that second place. Oh, it's a 9 2. Well, that hasn't helped her at all. Crunch timekeeper oh, at the bottom. Kohanska, I think, is gone. Samra is back down there after a great first series. She's level with Steen. Steen, 9.8. Samra, 10.4. And uh, Steen has saved herself. No, she hasn't. Oh, a last minute adjustment. And it is Jenny Steen who is in seventh place. And Kristen, well, 10 4 will keep her in the competition. Well, Samra did a great job in the first series. Perhaps not such a good job in the uh, second, but it was enough to stay in. Natalia Kohanska it is who has to take uh, the eighth place. Jenny Steen is uh, seventh place. She was uh, doing really pretty well until that first series. So, so so Seventh and eighth are three. decided. Now Five one more series, 50 seconds on the clock to decide to who takes the next uh, place of sixth. Said, Just to, to let you know about quota John, places, Zhang and Samra have them. Everyone else in the final already has a quota place for Paris. Uh, that meant that we went down into qualification and in ninth place, Lisa Muller of Germany got a qualification place. Uh, Anna Janssen of Germany was 10th, so they didn't get it because it's the same country, which meant that uh, Yeshugen Oyunbat of Mongolia got that fourth quota place. So there you are, that's the quota places explained. Now we have one more target to go. Point three between Samra and Lee. Keep an eye on their respective Scores. No, Zhang with a 9.7. Good from Madalena. Makes up some space and time. Also hand on hand as well. It's Lee with that 9.7 who is going to have to make way just point two behind Samra. The 29 year old takes sixth place. She was fifth in Cairo last year. Got the World Cup bronze here as well, but it's not to be for Lee Eun So she takes the uh, sixth place. So Samra, point seven behind Christian. Christian gives me a long way behind Madalena, who has a bit of work to do to get next to Zhang, who is knocking on the door with Han just point four ahead. This next shot is all about this place. So this competition shows load. Start. Leave the two in danger. Point seven the difference. Shang with a 10.6. As we watch these two. Madalena, a 10.3, 10.2 from Christian, a 10.3 from Samra. It's not going to be enough. 0.6 the difference. And it is the Indian who Ladies will have to take fifth place. Uh, fifth place. She did well to uh, stay to in for as long as she did. She was uh, towards the bottom for quite some Samra. time.
Let's have a look then. Samra takes the quota place, of course, so it's not all lost. And uh, well, Christian, three points behind Madalena, who has uh, hauled herself closer to Han. Zhang has uh, just cemented that place at the top, 1.1. 1. 1. So let's see. This next shot will decide who leads in fourth place. For the next competition shot, Laos. Stranger things have happened, but you would probably no. expect Christian to go out the world number two. Our Olympic champion on the right hand side, Madalena. Looking good for a podium place at the moment, but she'll be looking for a bit more than that if she can land a big one. The two Chinese athletes, 10-5. Oh, it's not good from Madalena. It's good from Christian, but it's not going to be enough. And Han, a 9-7, so Madalena makes a bit of space, a bit of time, and a bit of points up against uh, Han. But we do know who's going to be on the podium, and it's not going to be the Olympic champion. Fourth place from Nina Christian. The Olympic champion, maybe, but uh, she does the best she's done so far in a world championship. Fourth place for her, then. Half a point between second and third. Uh, almost two, though, between the two Chinese athletes. Has Zhang done enough? 0.5 separating the two athletes there. So we move on to a shot. 44 for the bronze medal. Let's hear you, Baku. For the next competition shot, low. Start. Here we go then. Podium places. We know the three that are going to be there, but in what order? Madalena and Han. Just half a point behind. She was top for quite some time. The 30-year-old who's just had her birthday looking. Oh, it's a 9-3, they say, to overhaul hand, but the 9-3 is not what you want, and it's not going to do the job, is it? So it is going to be Sagan Madalena of the United States taking the bronze medal. Excellent from her. First time a in a world championship Baku. individually right. and a bronze medal at her birthday a few days ago. So uh, that's a nice present for her, isn't it? 2.2. Zhang was trailing hand for a very long time, but in the standing, she has been outstanding. 10-6, 10-5 and a 10. Han, meanwhile, 9-1, 9-7 and a 9.7. So she's added all the way through and uh, just needs to keep it steady here in the next 50 seconds. It's good from Zhang, it's good enough. Han can do nothing about that. We don't hand out 12.5s in this uh, business. A 10-7 is a great way to finish, but it isn't going to be enough. And the world champion at 10 metres can't quite become the 10 metre champion. Uh, sorry, the three position champion. It is Zhang Zhonggui of China who takes the gold and is the world champion. And another gold in these uh, championships for China. So a quota for Zhang. Han already had a quota, of course, in the 10 metre. So she won't worry about that too much. And a gold and a silver at the World Championships is not a bad haul at all, is it? Excellent, though, from Zhang. The 19-year-old got the gold in Baku in the World Cup this year. She's got the top step of the podium in the World Championships here. It's been a very good year indeed for uh, Xiong 
Kui Zhang. Here we go then, the three on the podium, Sagan Magade, uh, Sagan Magade uh, of the uh, United States with the bronze, Hang Zhe Yu of uh, China with the silver, and Zhang Zhonggu of China with the gold. And the gold medal with an Olympic quota place, representing the People's Republic of China, it's the world champion, Zhang Zhonggu Well, congratulations to them all. What a big moment for the teenager. Inscrutable, but there is a smile there. She will be delighted, of course. And we will be hearing from them. And with a bit of luck and a falling wind, Jamie will be down there talking to them. That is coming out. Whatever you do, don't go away. The other day, we'll also have the victory ceremony for this event. They'll be coming up very soon over at the podium, so we'll see you there very soon for the victory ceremony. Thank you, Baku.